In this video, we'll be looking for dependent drop-down list. Now, there's some prerequisite for this dependent drop-down list. You should have some knowledge about the name range. How do we create it? How do we delete and edit the name range? Let's see that. What is dependent drop-down list is? If you have seen too many websites where you book a flight or a train or a bus, you might see there are two drop-down lists. One list will tell you the names of the countries. In that list, you can select all the countries. The other list will change according to the country name. So same way, we are going to design a list here. So what would be the list is? That's one list will be for countries. Like I have the country name as India, Malaysia, China, and Canada, just randomly I've written. Similarly, if I select some India, like country India, I should get names of list of cities in that country. If I select Malaysia, I should get names of cities in that country. So how we go for it? So that is simple. But the prerequisite is name range, as I said. So how do we create a name range? The very first step is this area that is the cell number D5 to D9 should have a name as India. Similarly, E5 to E8, E5 to E8 should have the name as Malaysia. Similarly, this three ha should have the name as China and this three should have the name as Canada. So there are various methods, but the shortcut method to give a name to this entire data is you can see here. First is I'll select this area, press control key and then without leaving the control key, I'll select the second column, third column, fourth column data. This way I have selected the data. Now what exactly my requirement is, all this data should get the name as this column heading. That means this five should get India, this three should get Malaysia and China and Canada. So how do we put names to this place? So I can go to the formulas tab and you can see there's an option known as create name for selection. So I'll just keep my cursor here and if you see the shortcut is control shift F3. So even if I use control shift F3 button, the names will be given. So now I'll just click on this option. And if you see, it has given as create names for the values for top row. That means all the data will give the, get the top row name. So I'll just click on OK. So once I click on OK, the work is done. So I can click outside. Now exactly what happened, I'll tell you. In the name box, if you see, all the names of four, four countries are appeared here. So now, if you click on India, you see all the five names are selected. If you click on China, all the three names would be selected. So what I'm trying to say is, these cities are getting the name of the countries. So now, let's proceed next step. The step is, I should get a list of all the countries at this place. So getting the names of all the countries is very easy. How we can go for it? I'll go to data tab and this is the data tab and I'll select here data validation. In this data validation, I'll create a list that is names of all the countries. List that is names of all the countries. And I'll click on this button. I'll select this. Yeah, selected all the countries and I'll click on OK. So that's it. So if I click on this drop down, this is very simple, which you have seen how to create a drop down list. That is very simple here. But now the main portion comes here. What is the portion is the cities should change according to the country name. Now how we can go for it, follow the steps here. So you can go to data validation, select here the option as list. From this, li from this list, I'll type something here, a function known as indirect. Now what is that indirect? I'll type here equal to indirect and now I'll select this cell number and I'll close this bracket. So what is this indirect is? It says this D13 is not a name, but it is a name range. It is not a value, but it is a name range. That means indirectly, if it is right now China, it will keep on calling the list of China. That is the list for China. So once I click on OK, let's see whether it is applied or not. So you see Beijing, Guangzhou and Shanghai, these three names are appeared. So now if I select here my country India like this, and if you see in the drop down list, I get all the five names that is Hyderabad, Bangalore, uh, Mumbai, Chennai and Delhi. Again, I'll try for one more. I'll just click on this Malaysia and I'll click on this drop down. I'm getting Kuala Lumpur, Johanbur and some other country, some other city. Similarly, what exactly happened was indirect is a function which will, which will call the name range. Behind that name range, there are multiple cells which are assigned. So this way you can create multiple drop down list. So I hope you understood the topic. That's all for this video. 